it's Camille and today we are doing strawberry Halloween makeup inspired by my hair. As you can tell, I have the green that is ready for the fruit. So let's unleash this poofy curly beast and get it looking like a strawberry. I use a spray bottle of just water and I just wet the area around the scalp so then I could put up more of a sleek ponytail. And my hair was already super poofy because I kind of frizzed it out for the clown makeup look. So I've already got that volume going. Uh, but I'm going to put it back in a bun for now so it will be out of the way when I'm doing the makeup. I'm going to go in with my Ben Nye cream palette in the clown colors starting with the red. I'm using a synthetic brush to apply this onto my face and going in diagonal motions to sculpt out the shape of a strawberry. Now I'm going in with some Elmer's glue, just a regular glue stick, and I'm flattening my brows. I'm laying them down so they won't be an issue when I'm trying to put red on top of them. Now strawberries don't usually have their noses pierced, so I decided to remove my septum ring. <laughs> now I'm just filling in my face using the cream. I'm um, just going everywhere with the red, and I started going over the brows and realized I want to cover them more, so I'm going in with NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. So I'm going to lighten the brows. Since they are glued down, I want to block them out a little bit more, so I'm using white as a base, and then I'm going to set it with some translucent powder so it can kind of get that creamy texture to more of a powdery texture. So then I can dab on this red, as you see on top and it won't get too gooey. Now I'm just going to finish filling in my face with all of the red except for the corners of my face so I still have that chiseled strawberry shape. Now I'm going to go in with some black on another synthetic brush, this is a foundation brush, and I'm just going to kind of carve out the shadows where my jawline is to just change that shape to a pointier chin kind of shape. Now I'm going to go in with a yellow and this is just a gel liner from Ofra and I'm painting on the seeds using an actual paintbrush. This is for paint, uh, but you can use it for makeup, you can use it for liner since it is a synthetic tiny little brush and you want to kind of just evenly space the seeds so that it looks kind of organic because obviously you're going to be an organic strawberry if you have the choice. We're not talking that GMO garbage. <laughs> JK, I love GMO strawberries. They're so big and juicy, but we're just being a regular strawberry. Now we're going to set the whole face using this translucent powder, and I'm tapping that in with a fluffy brush because you don't want that cream running off and escaping everywhere. And it's good to use a translucent powder because it sets any color. Now we're using Ofra's White, which is more of a whipped texture than the, the paint kind of texture of the yellow. And we're going to go and highlight around the seeds, so if you imagine that the seed is compressed, but then the area around the seed is higher up, there is a highlight, and I looked at pictures of strawberries, and it's like a little bit separated from the seed. So you just want to kind of pick two curves of the seed and draw in some curvy highlights. This is definitely the most tedious part, it takes five hours to do this, but it definitely makes the strawberry look more realistic than just a 2D flat red thing with some seeds on top. So that's what it should look like once you've highlighted. But now it's time to add shadow. So I'm going in with a black eyeshadow. And you're going to pick one side of the curve to deepen up. I picked this based on where I'm just choosing that the light would be hitting me, which would be in the very center of my face. So on the right side I'm gonna have the shadows on the right side of my face and on the left side I'm gonna have the shadows on the left side of my face so it looks like the light is consistently hitting from one area so I'm just adding this with a little brush and making a little bit of the shadow go on the seat as well now you're gonna let down your hair and fluff it out just make sure it looks nice and voluminous and leafy and just kind of pull it to the sides add a little bit of volume by separating some of more of the curls and you're gonna look like a straight-up berry ready to be picked ready to be added into your morning smoothie guys there we go this is very unuseful unless you have 
curly green hair like me or a wig that happened to look like my hair, but I thought it would be really fun to try out and be a strawberry. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have my vlog channel linked down below, as well as all my other social media links. Don't forget to follow me on the gram, and I will see you lovely chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.